Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 25 of season 2 of Let's Play Minecraft. So, last time we... well, for those of you who didn't see the live stream, uh, I built these two farms here. It's just a normal wood farm and a wheat farm. Well, normal, as in... Hey, that's mean! Which reminds me, I changed my skin. I'm in a tux now. Um, let's get this up. There we go. Um, yeah, I built this. Uh, it's not really normal. It's uh, all forestry stuff. But, yeah. So, in this episode, I want to start doing some automation of this. Um, I'm going to put dirt in this one for now. And... Can I... I'm gonna have to do this. Hold on, I think the sound's a bit loud here. Oh, it's probably my speakers. I don't know how they are for you, so I'll leave it at that. Um, also, my dog is going wild in the background, so I'm sorry for any odd sounds of him chewing on whatever he's chewing on right now. I don't know. It's a toy of some kind. Oh well, it's just a puppy. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing some of the automation for this um, area here. And uh, especially we want to make sure that this tree farm and... Um, hi, they changed the animation for that one, I think. Or I've just not seen it before. Um, let's see. You're supposed to be able to... No, you can't. Okay. Where did that one go? There it is. <laughs> there we go. I'm just experimenting a little bit here. Um, yeah. Let's uh, get this up and running here. I just wanted to fix this area a little bit, so... Put it to medium, smart moving, for the best effect. Yeah, the dog is completely nuts. Can you hear him? Hold on a moment. Yeah, he's playing with his toys. <laughs> oh well. If he starts barking, I'll just switch off the microphone or something. <laughs> it's actually making me laugh now. Alright, so, there we go. Um, any seeds in this chest here? No, nothing yet. This probably hasn't grown enough. Let's see if I can... Look at that. I've never seen it cut this before. Cool. I'm just refilling this as we go with more wood because we're gonna need a lot. So we get sand from this. This one we really only get seeds and wheat so that's not crucial but I do need to set up a peat bog. Um, so we need a turbery and a peat bog so let me just dash up here real quick. Whoosh! And how are we still looking for these? They do have a little bit of coal in them. Good good. How's this one looking? Almost full. That's excellent. What are we making here? Gates. You probably don't want to make too many of these. How many did I make? Eleven. Yeah, let's stop it for now. <laughs> there we go. I switched off. Perfect. want to save up on some of the biomass here. Um, this one is not working. Why? Huh. It's because it doesn't have water. Why? Oh, that would be why. For some odd reason, I've managed to... <laughs> Let's try now. 
And here we go, and it's got work, which means it will start making more biomass. So let's put more of that in there. Perfect. Um, right. What was I doing? Uh, yes, we need to make one of these uh, little neat machines. So let me just uh, clear my inventory and I'll be back with you in a moment. I decided to pick up my blue alchemy bag just so I have it as an extra because you never know when I'm gonna need that. So I'm gonna grab some copper electron tubes because we need them for these. We're also gonna need bronze, a bunch of it. So I should still have some but just because I can let's uh, make um, not that much. Let's make uh, 24 there and 8. Is that the right number? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Math skills, people. I like them. Uh, tin. We need tin. And we need some redstone. And we need power to our little thermionic fabricator. I do already have these copper ones, so let's make the tin ones. And we do have four. Perfect. That's all we need. I'm going to clear the recipe so I don't accidentally make anything here. And we go make some of these. I'm going to need two. Perfect. We're also going to need a bunch of gold tubes, so we need glass. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot more of these. So, let's craft a couple. Um, golden conductive pipes was going to need... I don't think it's going to be a problem, but I might want to make another... Yeah, we're going to make another biofuel engine or two. Um, it's going to need some of this. We're going to need some of this. And you've seen me make these before. Can you guess what I'm making? Exactly. We are making pistons again. And uh, let me just make planks out of these. So we can make two pistons. Now we're going to need one, two, three, four of these. And we make one, two, three, four of these. Um, these we're going to need to upgrade. And I didn't take an wrong one. Didn't take enough of that. Like that. And now we make bronze gears. Use the bronze gears for the biogas engine, yes. Perfect. To these, we place bronze down and glass. Two more biogas engines. Perfect. And we might as well just make ourselves some wooden transport pipes and make them into conductive pipes. I will need all these later, so don't worry. And let's see, how am I for gold? Not a lot, but I do have a lot of diamonds. And a lot of these diamonds were actually made with the void ring. So... I don't know, if I burn one of these, I can get gold. Yeah, let's just grab a bunch of gold. There we go. A stack of gold. Yeah, just burning up some of the diamonds that I have. And uh, golden transport pipes. I'm going to need about 40 of them. Yeah. And that means I need another stack of redstone. So. I'm going to be doing more live streaming, guys. I quite liked it, so I was thinking uh, I'd hold sort of a vote on this. Uh, I'll do this in a separate little clip and put it up, so it should be up shortly after this video. Well, or obviously you probably won't see an, any difference between them because I will enable them at the same time, but you know. Um, Let's just get a stack of glass so I can make these machines. 
Oh, the circuit boards. Uh, what's the recipe for these again? Redstone and tin. And a carpenter, right? Yeah. Um, and I will go flying. Oh, I had one, two of these. Now, if I place down um, copper around there, and that's the peat bog. We place down tin and glass around, and we have the turbery. Perfect. And we're also going to need bog earth. And I'm going to have to set up some sort of automated crafting of this, so... Mm. And thinking of it, we have a similar setup for this. And mulch I can actually create. Hmm. Compost is made using wheat and dirt. But for now, let's start on making bog earth. So we need sand and dirt. Dirt is produced by the um, by the peat bog, and sand is uh, created by the forest. Uh, so bog earth and humus is actually something you can make with both. And I was thinking mulch might be a good plan. It's a lot of dirt going in there, but yeah, it might work. So let's uh, set up the peat bog, make a bunch of this. I'll make it using... F no, not humus. Well, I'm gonna need some more of that as well, but... Uh, bog earth. Let's make a couple of stacks. If I just grab a couple of cans and make some water capsules, that will do. So, yeah, I do have some cans lying about. And we have our little... I'm just going to break this wall here. And we make... Um... I'm just going to click like a madman here. There we go. And we need dirt. I'm going to keep this one open. I'm going to fix that up so it looks a bit better later. It's not really my high priority now, but, you know, I like it to look nice. Perfect. So... Was that not the recipe for bog earth? Oh, it's sand as well. And I don't have a lot of that yet. So let's make a stack or three. Sand is cheap. I could go out and gather it, but I'm a little bit lazy. And equivalent exchange, as overpowered as it can be, uh, I don't know. I like it. So let's make as much as I can. One and a half stack of bog earth. That's going to do for now. I'm actually going to need more, I think, but yeah, you know. Let's... Um Grab that sand. I'm gonna put it in this as well as the bog earth. We got enough of these and this one is there and I'm gonna need some red wiring. We're also going to need a few more cans. And I'm going to need to use my trusted Vulcanite amulet again. It's a brilliant little thing. You do that, and you grab that. So I'm going to fill this up. I'll also go and grab about 12 cans of uh, biomass, so see you in a bit. Alright, just uh, heading my way down to the farm area here. I'm going to quickly dive down to this one here. 
and uh, we're going to expand this little room. And this is going to be creating the power for all these machines. And this, they will run forever, which is a long time. Very long time, actually. I think we're just underneath one of the farms. Um, uh, right, so three lava cans in there, three in there. We'll get the red alloy wire and we'll do. Yeah, you know, we'll just fill them up. Fill that one. How are these for biofuel? This one is. This one is down to four. We're gonna need more. But this is just temporary, guys. Once I do have a solid production of wood and stuff, and saplings especially, and I can keep a steady supply in here, I will be able to produce a lot of biomass. Also, I think I can use wheat. Not sure. Oh. Anyhow, peat bog. Where do I want to put that? Uh, the peat bog. And yes, I am looking at the wiki. How could you guess? Um, the peat bog is 15 by 15. And this one is... 3, 4, 6, 7... Hmm. Is the tree farm also 15 by 15? No, it's 13 by 13. So it's going to take up the same amount of space as this one. Which means I am going to make some flat ground here. Oops, got stuck in the ground there. This is not terribly interesting to watch, I know, but... Um, you're gonna have to live with it. Yep. So... This is looking good. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, I'll just clean this up a bit. Now, let's find the midpoint of this one. So we're gonna need to go seven out from this one here. And then we're gonna place down the peat bog. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the peat bog. Awesome. I'm gonna have to clear out and... Uh, um, actually, I can do that here. Gonna be out that wide? Yes. Follows the same pattern as the other one. I don't know exactly how wide it'll be. Something like that. And uh, we'll get power sorted with these in a moment. So I put the turbury down, uh, let's say, there. Something like that. I'm gonna need some pipes as well, but for now let's get power to this little one. And I should really had put down the power station down here. I'm gonna have some loss of power, but it's not too bad. Let me just dig this out all the way over to where I have the peat bog and I'll be right back. There we go, nice and simple. And this is a lot of gold pipes, but I can live with it. A 
Let's not connect them just yet. Um, I don't want to start making this whole thing quite yet. Well, start making, but start running the thing. There we go. And uh, I can just... Ow. And... We have a sunset coming here. No problem. I need to go up and get some supplies anyhow, because we need some pipes and stuff, and I think I'm gonna get to some automation today. Um... Maybe. We'll see what I get to. Uh, I wonder how much more I need to expand this one. But we'll see that in a moment. Um, I'll go... Hey, nice. Never saw this. This overhang over my peat bog. Hope that does not do anything bad with it. Um, have we gotten anything here yet? Seeds and some wheat. The wheat can stay, but the seed needs to go back in there. How are we for saplings here? Perfect. And as you can see, you get a lot of wood. And this wood can be used to make charcoal. And uh, we can make seed oil. Well, we can use seed oil to make the impregnated casing. We can use... Oh, these ones, I don't know what they are make wood pulp and crates and I wonder what wood pulp is used for um, for paper and cartons and that's not what I need so wood is not really something I'm gonna need um, I'll probably use that for scrap or something we'll see um, that's gonna be for a future episode I think but um, all this bog earth that I got with me in my blue bag, I think. Yes. Let's dump that in there and let's give it power now. And I will start doing its thing. We're gonna have to expand that one. That's the outer border of the thing. I know the darkness makes this a bit difficult for you guys, so I'll do this last bit of building off camera. So see you in a bit. Ah, and it's morning. So I started my uh, autarchic gate production here because what I'm gonna do is some automated crafting and that's a lot easier when you have these gates. Actually, it's not that one that I need. It's the iron one. Um, I need to make the iron and gates first, I think. So let's make one. And this takes forever, so I'm gonna do this... I'm uh, gonna let it run for a while. Uh, let's make five of them. Although, I think maybe the single ones can work. But I'm gonna need a bunch of the other ones as well, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna need some wooden pipes. And I don't think I have any. I have one. So, grab some glass, and we make some wooden pipes. And yeah, you know how these works. So, perfect. I'm not going to need more than 17. <laughs> Probably not going to need more than 2, but hey, it doesn't matter. You can always get some other ones. So, yeah, we're going to keep... Now, let's throw that in there and the cobblestone. Okay. Actually, we're going to need some jacketed wire as well. Do I have any here? I have 64 stone. That's going to work. And red alloy, I will need that. And I think that's fine. We're going to need... Uh, 
Hmm. A retriever and filter. Retriever, filter, and the deployer. Do I have a deployer? Probably not. And the deployer is fairly simple. A chest, redstone, and a piston. So, let's make some of these. Um, you might be wondering what I'm making now. Well, it's not that difficult a one to make. I'm gonna make a bucket filler. So I'm actually gonna need two of these. Because there are two separate recipes that I need to make. So let's make that's one deployer and let's um I'm not sure I even need the filter for this. Just two deployers and a retriever. Yeah. We're also gonna need some sort of power, so let's make another one of these first. And we got some of this. We're gonna have an overflow this very soon, but wood can be burned to charcoal. I think I have Yeah, I have the Coke oven one. It makes charcoal and charcoal in turn is used for a couple of things but mostly as fuel and uh, yeah so what was I doing yeah um, didn't I grab more I thought I grabbed a stack I'm pretty sure I did I'm gonna have to go back and check the footage on that because if I did I might have encou encountered a bug there not that it matters that much I have plenty of it but you know there we go. Two deployers. Another retriever. So that's two ender pearls, a blue alloy, a filter, some leather and brass. Gonna have to use my trusted little table for this. Let's uh, grab a few extra. So I have. Okay, fair enough. That's gonna work. There we go. I just need to make one, right? And uh, that's two of these. Um, we have brass ingots here. Like so. Filter. Filter. Iron. And we need to have... Blue alloy and leather. And I should have some blue alloy ingots in here. I have one. And some leather. I'm making an extra now because I know I'm gonna need one in the future. There we go. Retriever. And I didn't have enough for the second one. No, because I didn't put in enough under pearls. Oh well. Doesn't matter. They should all be going into yeah, eventually there they are they show up okay deployer retriever we're gonna need a timer do I have one I've got four perfect and we need an on off switch but I might need a not gate I'll grab one of these just to have it how am I for charge batteries I don't have any I'm also gonna need to keep these guys charged up some solar panels this is for the retriever and deployers we might as well grab the red uh, the blue alloy wire some stone jacketed blue wire as well so we can transport this and do I have any more battery boxes yes I only need like two should be enough to power the retrievers they're really low cost okay it's almost dark again isn't it yeah Oh, no matter. Let's uh, put this. Oh, you know what? I forgot. 
Yeah. I need some tubing. Be right back. So I figured I'm gonna go and upgrade all these tools. I already upgraded the axe, uh, so I'm gonna grab three of these, and one of these, and one of these, and one of these, I think. I might be wrong. That might not be the correct recipe for the pickaxe, but pretty sure it is. And for the shovel, it's... yeah. And the axe, um, to make an upgrade of that, I need three red matter. Yeah, I might as well. Three of that, and the dark matter for the handle. And that. We have all the tools upgraded. Perfect. And I see I haven't upgraded these with... Uh, <laughs> with the correct IDs, so I can't put them in there. So I'm gonna have to do that off camera real quick. And we have dame time again. Perfect. How are we for the iron and gates and the Arctic gates? All out of chipsets. And... It's the iron chipsets that I need. Let's make three... Yeah, that's gonna make about... I don't know... a couple... I'm just gonna grab these two for now, because I'm only gonna, re uh, only gonna need two down here for the first set of things that I build. So, as you can see, I'm already out of uh, humus here, which means that I soon need to get that started. Um, I'm going to clear out this area here and uh, make this uh, my production facility for the stuff that I need, like the bog earth and the humus. So, I will see you guys once I have done that. So, hold on. Man, the red power tools are... Well, not the red power, the, uh, uh, the red matter tools are fast. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna build any house or anything of this, just make something pretty simple. Just clearing this out so I have a bit of area to work with. There we go. This will do for now. I'm also gonna fill this up with dirt. I'll tidy it up later. Okay, because this is going to be in the middle of where I have my... Um, I'm going to need at least one area like this. Let me think here. Yes, that's the way it's to be. I think, yes. Um, I need a chest plop down somewhere. So I can put away all this dirt. There we go, and uh, I had some more dirt in there, and I had some sand. We also will have some sand in this one. No? Oh, I need to have the, um, something to pump the sand out, but that's 40 sand, that's good. And this probably already has some dirt in here. No, it hasn't, it needs to replace that first, okay. Um. Yeah. So, how to do this? We need the deployer, we need the retriever, we need the power. Um, I got the battery boxes and these and some of these. We're not gonna need so much... Um, let's make two of these. We can plop down the auto crafting table here somewhere. Actually, we're going to need that chest, but let's make the first one so that you guys can see how this works. Um, just thinking a little bit slowly here. It's been a long day. Um, I'm going to need something like this, and this is the retriever.
Where is my screwdriver? We're actually going to have to turn this around. Hmm. Let me think on how I want to build this a moment. Um, the deployer needs to go there. The other way around. Perfect. The deployer itself won't really do anything, but I think it will... Unsure, actually, on what it can do or not. And the retriever needs to go there, I'm pretty sure. Yes. That goes there, and we do need to have a filter. So I'm gonna go and craft one of these and be right back. Just grabbing myself two filters. I already had one, and I might need more of them anyhow, so yeah. And we'll head down again. This will be so much better once I get the train network up and running so I can go by train up and down. Um, the reason I want this is that I want a filter here. There. Um, other way around. There we go. Here, I am going to place the automated crafting. That means I put a chest there, and one of these there. Okay. In this first one, which is since it's closest to this, it's gonna make humus. And if you look at it, humus is fertilizer. Oh, this one didn't even need this. Uh, now let's make the bog earth. Should put in another one. <laughs> uh, that's gonna need sand and dirt and a water bucket. So let's get four sand. We have dirt enough. And uh, the dirt goes in the corner. I always get this wrong. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to make three. Five buckets. I'm going to need all of them. And in my white bag... I have my Evertide amulet. We can put the Vulcanite one away right now. And there we go. Let's uh, just fill up one bucket and put it in this filter. Let's take an empty one in the retriever and uh, fill up another bucket and put it in the recipe. Bog Earth. Now this is not the best alternative. I should really be using uh, water cans, but the amount of cans that gets used, uh, I don't quite like it, so I'm gonna go with the inefficient one. This will keep up, no problem. Okay, so now we can do this. Um, the bog earth needs to go into this machine here. Now this one. And for that I'm going to need one of the wooden pipes. Perfect. And a stone transport pipe as well, or two maybe. So here's the thing. This needs to pull it out. And I could actually use a relay Transposer, buffer, and red dot wafer shouldn't be too tricky to make. Because um, I do need to put all this in some sort of a logistic system with red power pipes. But anyhow, this one will retrieve the empty buckets from this here. Put it in the deployer which on pulls I'm gonna have to make more of the buckets actually let's make two more put them in there one in it, in that one yes on each pulse uh, this one will fill a bucket and send it in there and this one will retrieve an empty bucket the filter is there to pull only water buckets from this one and this is an infinite water source and you all know what these do 
Um, oh dear god. What did I just do? Uh, thankfully, this one is quite fast. <laughs> ah, what a mess. Um, yeah, I think we're coming up to time on this episode as well, so I might as well round it off. Um, gonna continue working on this a little bit off camera to neaten things up a bit and... Oh dear god, creepers. Hello, zombie. Dead zombie. And we're gonna make another automated crafting for uh, this, and I'm gonna use some gates and stuff for this. It's not really that difficult. Um, for humus, I'm going to go by compost. Yeah, compost it is. So, we're gonna have to set something up. I'll think on how I wanna do this, so... I'll, we'll see you guys in the next episode for that. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.